Hello all, welcome to Network and welcome back to Microsoft Tutorials. Today I'm planning to talk about how to define a security schema definitions in the RAML and how we can apply those securities in the RAML design. Securing the API is more important when you are developing an API. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain about how we can secure the APIs with a different mechanism. The REST API might have more than one secure mechanism to secure your data or maybe identifying that request who is setting this request and all and uh, determining how the access level we should be provided and all you know the consumer is it having only the read access or write access or level of those access levels and what data we need to expose to the consumer these things we will be uh, controlling using the security as part of this i'm going to discuss about what are those different types of a security mass we can define in a raml how we can define those each type of the secure schemas and how we can apply those secure schemas in the RAML. That is what I'm going to discuss. To start with, first I will discuss about a security schema types. Then I will go to the declaration. The security schema types are the currently the RAML support was 1.0, was 2.0, basic authentication, digest authentication, pass through authentication, and etc that is a custom secure schemas you can define so these are the different types of a security schema which we have in a mule 4 let's start declare this uh, security schemas then we will discuss each type now i'm going to take the contact api which i have taken previously also go to the design center click on start designing and you can see that contact api i'm going to take it so this is the main raml which is uh, in a contact api two things over here whenever you are going to define the security schemas either you can define them within the raml itself over here or you can create a separate raml file as a security schema and we can include that also so i'm going to create a separate over here I'm going to create separate schema, security schema for each of these security schema types. Now go over here. I'm going to create a new folder over here. I will say security schemas. So that is a folder I just created. It's not a mandatory, but it is a good practice to have a the package level like a folder structure. Like the data types will be part of under this folder. Examples will be part of this folder. And security schemas will be part of this folder now i'm going to have a click over here click on play symbol new file from the drop down you can select security schema over here first i'm going to define voauth 1.0 so i will say over here the security schema the file type and i'm going to give like voauth 1.0 I'm going to click on create. So over here, the type, it will be there. So I will discuss about what each security schema will contain. That will be part of the declaration of the security schema that I will discuss. First of all, let me create a different types of security schemas first. So then I will create a place over here, new file, and I'm going to select again security schema, and I will select or uh, through 5.0 created the next thing what we have is basic auth basic author authorization so i'm going to create new file over here and security schema basic auth i'm not going to keep it entire authorization i'm going to give as basic auth and create it and then we have next over here security schema we have digest right i think it is a digest so digest underscore auth authorization can create then we have something called pass through so i'm going to create a new file security schema and i'm going to select pass through i'm going to give a file name as pass -through. then the last one is we have the x iphone other that is a custom so i'm going to create a new file i'm going to say security schema I'm going to say custom. So this is custom uh, related uh, authorization. 
I'm going to like give this name. So that is how I created a security schema. These are the different types of a security schemas which is available in a uh, RAML. Now how each of this security schema, what it exactly contains? We need to declare, right? So if you go over here, you can see the security schema declaration will have what type of a security it is and some display name if you want to display and description about those security schema and describe about that security schema and setting. And that type will be OAuth 2 or OAuth 1.0 or basic auth that will be comes under the type. You can write something human readable uh, display name and then the next thing is description. The description about the security schema you can write one or two lines of uh, about that security schema and describe by. So how exactly this API security should be passed? Is it a part of a header? You need to pass something, a query parameter or how the response should be written. All these things will be described over here in the described by. And the settings will be provided the security schema specific information like what the url uh, the security uh, schema should call so let's start and uh, declare the security schema uh, for each of this now i'm going to take it over here the first i'm going to take what 1.0 so in the what 1.0 control space when you put it over here can here you can see the security schema type will be you can select over here this is what one 0. I selected this OAuth 1.0 RAML that's why I selected this type is over here and then next is display name. Let's say this is OAuth 1.0 security description you can write something. I'm going to write something OAuth 1.0 continues to be support for all the API requests. So this is just I'm going to write some description over here and then I'm going to describe. So I'm going to write described by over here. The described by over here, if you see, is it required headers? Is it required query parameters? Is it required query string or responses? These things you need to define over here in the described by. Okay. So any of these things you can describe it. So in described by, so I'm going to define as headers over here. So I need to pass authorization token over here. So I can put it over here, this one. Under this, this is I can say string data type, okay, which I can define. Or you can put it the type over here like string. This way also you can define. So I can write some description like this over here. So the description will be used to send a valid access, a worth access token. So this is how I can define this authorization header over here. And then what is the responses it is going to return? That I can define. It might return 403 and it might return 401. These things I can define over here. After that, I can put a, some description over here about, I can put a description like this. So I can give some description about this error status code. So I can describe uh, this is how we should have a header and how, this is how we should have the responses. That is what I have described in the described section. Now what we want to do, come back to the described by uh, tag over here. The last thing over here is settings over here. I can put a settings over here and settings, what it is going to contain the settings. Let me go to the document over here. So if you see the word 1.0 settings, it is going to have the request token URL, authorization token URL, and the token credentials URL and signature. So under these settings, I'm going to define request token URL, which is for requesting a new token and authorization URL for authorize the token, whatever it is generated and token credentials URL. To generate the tokens under, we are going to use the signatures. So you can keep it the signatures like this is how we can define the settings within your what 1.2 uh, 1.0 security schema so the mainly will have a type display name description described by and setting so that is how we can define a security 
in a war one file. Now let me go to the 2.0, how we can put it. So the type will be war 2.0. This is how I can put it. And uh, display name, uh, this is for OAuth 2.0 security. And you can put some description about this security schema. I'm going to put it uh, the description like this. This OAuth 2.0 continues to support for all this uh, your APIs. Okay. Then describe why. And you should have similarly settings. Okay. So in the describe, we know already we can define headers and we can define query parameters if you want. And if you want to pass security uh, query string, you can pass it. And if you want to define some uh, responses, you can define this. These are the things you can define in a described way. But I'm going to define only the headers parts as of now. So let me put it authorization. Authorization. And this is the type is in type is string and description. I can put it some description. I can put some description about this authorization. I can put it used to send a valid OAuth 2.0 access token. And similarly, uh, in the responses, you can define uh, 401 and similarly 403. So if you are not passing any token, it will return 401. If you are passing some token, if it is not valid, then it will return as a 403. That I can copy paste and uh, the description also. It will come the same thing. So I can define this. So in the settings for the 2.0, it will be a bit different. Here you have a request token URL, authorization URL, token credential URL like this, right? 2.0, the settings will be a bit different. It will have a authorization URL access token URL, authorization grant type, and the scope. These all things will be defined under the settings. So under settings, I'm going to copy paste this content. So let me correct it. So over here, you can see I have defined authorization URL is, this is authorization URL. And uh, that is for whatever the token it is generated by this URL, it will be authorized by this URL. And uh, the authorization grant type, like you know, whenever it is authorization is uh, validating, uh, so these are the mechanisms it is going to use it. That is how we defined in the setting. But the next thing is basic auth. We can select this uh, file, and the type will be basic auth. And display name, you can put it over here. And this is our basic auth. That is how we can put it. And a basic authorization i can say okay and you can describe description you can put it something this api support basic authentication that is the description i'm going to give for the basic auth you don't need to describe anything you don't need any settings those are optional so you just need to define this say in the basic auth. similarly now i'm going to define digest authorization here the type I need to select digest authorization and I just copy pasted the other content and over here the display name this is for digest authorization this API support digest authentication so the digest authentication also you don't need to describe anything you don't need to put any uh, settings for this also so just you need to define the type display name and description again the display name and description option also that is also you don't need to define for better documentation purpose you can put it them also now pass through the pass through select over here the type will be pass through and over here again you can display name you can put something over here and the description also you can put it over here and this api support pass through authentication that is how i can put it and uh, i can put it the display name also something uh, this is for pass through authentication okay so that is how i can define the uh, pass through and over here you can use a described by so in the described by i can pass some headers maybe i will say api key might be i need to pass it and i will say this is the api key we we'll say type will be string and description can put it that API key for authentication. 
okay so that is how i can describe it. and if you want to pass it some query parameter so let me put it some query parameters over here i will say maybe i need to pass some query over here and the type i can say over here and i can say description the query api access i think i can define that okay in the description okay so that is how we can pass. can use the pass through this is clear right now the last thing over here custom authorization so imagine you don't have any of those security schemas which you don't want to use it but if you want to use something else you can select this x hyphen over here i will say custom I will define as a custom over here so i think this is i need to rename it uh, it is extra ekm over here this is custom authorization i'm going to custom authentication i'm going to use it for here display name and then description i can put it and uh, description i will put it like uh, this api support custom authentication okay and i can use this as custom authentication as a display name so you can define over here the descript uh, described by over here how you are going to pass those the token or something how you are going to pass it that is what you are going to pass it over here so i'm going to say that in the header i want to pass custom i can define this way and I, over here the type will be and uh, description you can specify that this is custom token for authenticating authentication of api okay that is how i can put it over here this is how the different types of a security schemas we can specify in the raml so we learned the different types of a security schemas was 1.0 2.0 basic cost digest pass through and uh, custom now we learned about each of them how we can declare them inside also now the next thing is how we can apply these security schemas in our AI. what we are going to learn to apply these security schemas you can go to the main ml file and over here in the api overview section you can specify over here secure by over here you can see you can specify over here and before that now if it is this security schemas has been defined we can define over here normally you can see that security schemas under that you can select those files over here this is was 1.0 i'm going to say include security schemas for 1.0 similarly i'm going to include all of them over here i'm going to rename it this 2.0 and i have defined 2.0 ml also basic give any key over here and i need to select appropriate uh, security schema over here basic card then i just i can say over here i can select digest earth security schema file over here. Then pass through this is pass through i'm going to pass through pass it over here then i can say custom then include include security schema let me copy this over here the customer so this is how we can include those security schemas whatever we defined outside of this main panel now this secure by what i can do in the root you can pass all those security schemas over here api support maybe was 1.0 also okay and if you want to specify any scopes and all you can specify those signature scopes over here but i'm not going to pass it any of them so then 2.0 basic cut term i just and then we have pass this is how we can in the root so whatever the security schemas we have we can put it over here and now in each api what security mechanism it is going to support that you can specify under the method now over here i have a create contacts create contact want to support only was 2.0 
then I can specify over here secure by okay and I can specify over here what to find you so that is how I can define over here we can put it directly this also go to the get method get method display name I want to secure by using the basic auth and so and if we go to the get method over here it is a get all contact if I go over here and try it out and it should have now only the basic card you can see I'm passing only the basic card so it is supporting only basic card and it expect uh, username this is the delete method I'm going to apply over here secure by uh, what mechanism we will try to use can I reuse it custom yeah let's see custom we will use it and then I have a put method over here for the put method I'm going to use pass through okay so this is how I can apply all the security mechanisms over here and let me maximize this let me show you one more time uh, for the create contact I use was 2.0 and for get all contact i used basic card and for getting single contact i use security mechanism over here as digest and then put method i use a pass through and the delete method i used custom so let me test it this thing how it looks like let me maximize this documentation view i will go to that summary part so first i will go to the delete it is a delete is what we are using is custom i think so so try it out and over here you should be able to see custom over here security schema i need to pass a set a custom token over here that is how it is showing over here right now if i go to put method over here try it out i'm using pass through over here and over here you can see that pass through security mechanism the security is uh, uh, pass through and uh, over here if you see i have defined the api key and query in the described by so that is showing over here and if i go to the get contact specific contact digest mechanism i used over here you can see digest authorization authentication so you can pass it over here uh, username password and those details or what details and if i go to the get method over here uh, get all contacts i define basic authorization so over here you can see in the credentials basic authorization authentication and username password i need to pass it over here and uh, if i go to create contact over here try it out and i defined over here applied was 2.0 security mechanism it is ask, uh, asking for these details like authorization uh, url and all it is passing over here from the uh, drop down and the client id and what is the url authorization url and all it is displaying over here what we have defined in our settings so we can apply similarly the OAuth 1.0 also uh, the way we have done it over here uh, let me create a contact over here in the create contact I defined as a described over here post method secure by 2.0 I can pass it as 1.0 and we can use it these are the different types of security schemas and uh, how it should be described each of these is done over here and then we described using headers query parameters responses and we applied those into our api um, by using the secure by over here. you can pass it on that one secure mechanism also for each of your api so hope it is for you all now uh, try to use the security mechanisms and uh, secure your apis that's for today thank you for watching this video Please like, share, subscribe, network. See you in the next video. Thank you.
and if you want this document uh, you can get it in a description field you can find it